Welcome to another epic adventure at Weaverstone House Farms. And this one I want to say thank you to uh, your local farmer, another guy on YouTube, and he did how to set up a plow video. Um, I want to trim that down lengthwise for mine to show you how I utilize that information. So what we're going to do, we have uh, our international 444 tractor here. I'm show the tractor. Okay, smaller tractor. It's like 42 horse when it was brand new. Um, and we got a three bottom plow, which is probably a little too big for what we do here, um, but I got it on a heck of a good price. The people that I bought it from ran it on a much bigger tractor. So it was adjusted differently on the front. So the first thing he talks about is finding out your actual plow uh, for the plows, whether it's 12, 14, 16, 18. So what he said is take from like the middle here and go to here. So Mimi, come over here so you can see that. So he said go from the center to the other one and show the 14 inches. It's like 14 and a quarter. Okay, so it's like 14 and a quarter. So we're gonna call it 14 inches. All right, so that's that point. And then what you do is you take the three plows and you add them up. So I'll show my notes. So 14, 14, 14, that means we're 42 inch wide cut, okay? So then the other thing of it is, he explains um, center of draft. He goes through those details, but he rounded it off. He said, take the center of cut plus four inches to the left. So for us, that's 21 inches plus four inches equals 25 inches. So, and the way you measure that, my other note, from the back tip of the back plow to the center of the tractor, you're looking for about 25 inches is ideal, okay? So let's see here. So we take this from that tip and 25 inches puts me right here. So let's show the foot. That 25, it's near, you can see it's, it's near the outer edge of that plow. And then we look up from that 25. I'm not centered on that plow. I'm off a little bit. So let's show that again. There's 25. And that would be right about there so you can see my center pin and i'm off that center pin a little bit but that's okay because before the adjustments i was the whole way over here this thing was the whole way over at the lift arm on the right okay what did you adjust now this is an international plow um, this one has these adjustments so this piece right here it turns okay there's a turn adjustment and then there's a slide adjustment so what I had to do was get the uh, bolts loose. Now some some old farmer before me had peened the nuts so they didn't move ever for his tractor to fall off. So note to self, uh, I might I might need to do that on mine if they come loose. And then that adjustment, you can see mine has the holes here. So you can see where it was. It was a hole over here, and then there are holes over to that side. And then these holes are slotted on mine. So. Got those loose, got that loose, took, took a good bit of work to do that. Um, and what we did then is just hit that with a sludge hammer, beat that over, and I'll show you on the other side. So we picked up this much over here. When you look at it, that center line, that was from where I was about in here, let me show my hand, from where I was about in here, to here, so I, I moved it over that much. Okay, and then the other part was this. This is a pivot. So that arm right there, I left the old rusted up nut on there because the threads were dinged. Now I looked at this and it looks pretty close to a hinge for a gate. So if I wasn't happy, I could use that. A uh, gate hinge would do it. So I grabbed the hold of this whole bar with a pipe wrench. And then what I did is I twisted it back, okay? And as I twisted this back, you can see where that nut ended up at the end. Okay, what that did, it set my plows a little bit flatter. These are 
they, they may not seem flat to uh, some of you watching this video, but to me, there's a significant difference. Um, they are way flatter than what they were. So that helped rotate that, that direction. And then also what I did on here is I took and I went from where I, tr traditionally I run on those on the bottom pins. I went to the top pin on the left hand side, <coughs> stayed on my bottom pin on the right hand side, turned that side down and we're going to see how it plows with it. And then I adjusted my tail wheel. This one had a tail wheel. Now where it was set before as I applied, now this took a while for me to figure out a little bit. I jacked it up and as I took it, say the whole way forward, then it didn't put pressure to rotate those plows flat. So they were up like this. They were tilted, the plows were tilted up. So whenever I went ahead and put that tail wheel down, it forced that plow a little bit flatter too. So that tail wheel adjustment down gets your plows flatter. So yeah, I probably don't have my calders adjusted right and I'm missing one, but we'll, we'll see how we go with this. Cause it's for what we do is in the garden. Um, it's pretty well intact. Okay, so that's about it. Uh, let's skip to the plowing. So we are plowing today. All right, let's go. Forward helps. Now we made some major adjustments to this plow. Oh man, that's the first time I've ever able to walk in that furrow. Hold up. Drop that down a little bit. Drop it underneath. Yep. I had to reset that lower. Oh man, that's folding over great. That's great. So you can see the depth. There's my boot. So where I was making mistakes um, was quite a bit. The tail wheel, I had it down. So that didn't allow my plows to drop. Huh, go figure. I learned the hard way. So then the other problem was I had the right arm down too low, so I raised it. And then I put the right arm up on the upper pin on the tractor, and then the left arm on the lower pin, and then lower the left hand arm down. And then I also had to loosen my chains up by one like my limiting chains so I could get a little bit more play out of it. This is pretty darn good. I'm happy. That's the best we've ever done with three bottom. Now this is on International 444 and it, it's really too much of a plow, but that's okay. Now if you watch that center line of draft, we're doing pretty good. That's pretty close. All right, so we're looking at that center line of draft out here. Um, I know it's it's down in here and it's off the tip of that plow and that tip of that plow point's in that ballpark where this calder is. So if I look at my 25 inches, right, because there's my note, 25 inches ideal. There's 25. I'm still over, but I'm on like the edge of the tractor. So if you look at my 25, I'm here. On my on my center line of draft, whereas before center line draft, I was the whole way over here, and this is pulling that three bottom plow now, um, whereas before it didn't. And then the adjustments we also made—I was talking through that video—was that tail wheel. We raised it up because I had that wrong, um, and then also what we did with these, I raised our right hand lift arm up more rather than down, and it's on the top pin. And then this arm on the left hand side, we adjusted it downward and put it on the bottom pin. Um, and then obviously you can see those adjustments that we did there. So that's working pretty good. Okay, go ahead and start her up, keep rolling. 
it's not super deep, but that's okay. We're, we have uh, we don't have a whole pile of topsoil here. Man, I'm happy with that. Look at Mama go. That's right, we fill that on the end anyways. Mama's first time plowing, actually. You never tell it. Now the other thing we do through the winter is we actually we throw our, uh, from the wood stoves, we throw our uh, ashes out on here as well. Man, that looks great. Look at that. That's not super deep, but we don't need super deep here. We're just, we don't have a whole lot of topsoil. You can see we're just, we're just nipping the clay a little bit. That's what we want. Just a, just a little bit of clay here or there. There's a spot. Sorry about the wind noise, but there's a reason we got windmills back behind us. 
There's always 15 mile an hour wind here. Never stops. Happy. 